TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stan Lab. All right, we're coming in with Empire. Y'all been waiting for us. Sorry we're late. Yeah. We had some things going on. But season six, episode one, What is Love? And we're going to do something a little different. Y'all remember way back in the day, I tried to give this show to Stanley to review so <laughs> he can do like the lead on it. And he did it for like two episodes and conveniently, I just got it back. <laughs> like he just snuck it in on me and I didn't even realize I was leading again. That's He's right. taking it this season, final season. Y'all in and out with him. Yeah. So go. Yeah. I would say um, pretty much uh, this episode was, it was okay. I mean, it, was, yeah. it, it didn't give us the business. And I understand it's the opening uh, episode. So I guess they was pretty much setting up what's going to happen this season. Um, I'm here for it, but I hope they... I hope they pick it up. Yeah, I hope, I hope it ends in a blast. It's the last season. Um, we want the fire. Um, we start off, we see that Lucius is still on the run. Okay, Mama, in the last season, he tried to get Cookie to get on a helicopter with him, and she refused. She said, I need to think about myself, and that's exactly what she's doing. She's thinking about herself, mm -hmm. trying to get herself together. But we've seen in this episode that Lucius done made a change. And I don't know if y'all see him on social media or not, and it kind of kind of yeah, going together. Right together. And he was on there. I, I can't say what exactly what he was talking about because he was. It was like power. yeah, it was like way out in left field. And he's gonna come back and tell everybody the yeah. truth. <laughs> and, it, and and he don't need to walk on water no more <laughs> because he has the true way and the steps. It's like what the hell is going on with Lulu? We got Dwight back. Yeah, and he and he um he ain't doing movies no more. Of course you can say that now, player. You don't got you don't got yeah. your money now. Yeah, you so you're good. <laughs> so he's still a runaway fugitive because he's uh, wanted by the FBI for money laundering, allegedly. But we know he has. I heard say he guilty. <laughs> he guilty. So it looks like he done met this girl. I, I was trying to catch her name. I don't know what her name is. It don't even matter right now. Like Mike That's B right. say. We'll, we'll we'll find out later, but we see her in the club. She's singing. Homegirl can sing. Uh, and after she finished singing, he come in the back was like, you don't ever do what I say. I was like, why are you talking to her like Cookie? I you miss, you mm -hmm. miss Cookie. Mm -hmm. You yeah, miss Cookie. Back. So she was like, I had to be led by the spirit. <laughs> I, said, I said, is Lulu writing his own pods? I can see yeah. him going to the directors now. Yeah. I'm going to need you to write a part where I can explore this new thing that I found within myself where the lotus flower opened up and, you know, I'm able to walk around looking <laughs> like one of Jesus' disciples. You know, I'm just going to need all of that to be in my pockets. I need to go out with a bag. You need to stop. <laughs> he needs to stop. Yeah, he needs to stop. He needs to stop. Woo! <laughs> So we see in the episode where the fans that came and visited uh, Andre, and of course they was threatening that they were going to put out in the streets that pretty much your father is a fugitive. He wanted for money laundering because we can see that Andre them is working on Lucius's movie, mm -hmm. and they casting this dude named uh, Charlie. I think his name is, and Charlie was you know kind of giving the business. I think he was doing all right, no. but Andre was like cut. <laughs> and he should have said cut. <laughs> and Andre was like, you know, this is the first time Lucius stepped on stage. He owned it. I need you to be a king. A king don't say he a king. A king shows you. And he's in action again. It seemed like the boy did the same thing. But Andre <laughs> was, he was proud of it. I said, Stella, did he do anything differently? Because it looks yeah, exactly the look, same to me. It, it ain't look no different to me. So uh, then we seen, the, like I said, the feds that came and was threatened to mess all that up. And, the money up. and come to find out that that's exactly what they did. They went to the press and now Andre and them is pretty much trying to do damage control like they always do to pull this thing together. And guess who showed up? Lucius. <laughs> Looking like Jesus Christ himself. Him and Cookie like they wanted to tear <laughs> each other apart in that doctor's office. And of course, they're, they're normal arguments. You know you can't live without me. No, you can't live without me. Da 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 he da said, da I'm da. I'm over you, Cookie. She said, yeah, right. Never. Uh huh. Be over me. I said, Lulu, if you don't take your happy hind parts over there and eat you some, <laughs> eat you something organic and drink you some tea. <laughs> <laughs> so he back at the company because he need to clear his name once again. All the time he always gotta clear his name. So he come in disguise. Ain't anybody see me? 
Like, of course I'm about to see you coming in with them, with them fake dress on and them got those uh, uh, press glasses on. Of course people going to recognize who you is. <laughs> like, what the hell wrong with that dude? Yeah. <laughs> he looks strange. So, we see old Cook got herself her new show going called Tea Talk. Hmm. And... Don't worry about it. Flash out, flash out, flash out. <laughs> She got her uh, new talk show going called Tea Talk with these white girls. And at first it was going good, but one of the white girls named Lizzie want to yeah. throw a whole lot of shade talking about Lucius and talking about Andre and it was talking about Donald Trump. And then she was like, uh, it's uh, the view all over again. Yeah, that's pretty much it is. Um, saying that if Donald Trump get the same bump that Andre had and. And Cookie was like, you know what, this ain't what you want. So that's what I said. <laughs> Cookie, Cookie started giving her the business because pretty much what they want her to do is they want her to put public what's going on between her and Lucius. And at first, she didn't want to do it. But pretty much, they kept on pushing and pushing, pushing her in the corner, and eventually she came out with it, and she was like, to give up Empire was the hardest thing I ever could do. And it hurts me every day. And me and Lulu ain't together no more. Yep, and we ain't together. So pretty much they end up putting a, putting a strong arm on her to put that out there. But the I thing like, about it is when you when you control your own narrative, they can't use it against her now. Yeah. So that's why I'm glad that she came out with it. Because I'm like, if you don't tell it, they're going to keep stringing you along like a puppet. Yep. Getting you to do whatever they want you to do. Just tell it. So now that she ain't got no more shade on her now. Mm -mm. And now she can really give it to the girl as yeah, she did. Because Cook was feeling like she wanted to pull out her gun and blow her head off, man. Mm -mm. <laughs> I said, white girl, you don't know what you're doing now. At all. I said, you don't know who you, who you, you know who you missy with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so now we got old Becky and Giselle <laughs> trying to get their new company off the ground bossy. Got doing Giselle talking about something. You know, I need a marquee artist. I'm like. Dude, you Giselle. have marquee artist money. Yeah, and you're not a marquee freaking record company yet. You yeah. start from the ground floor. You need to find somebody that's trying to come up, and you help them come up exactly. so you can become relevant. So they had this one girl come in. I don't know, I don't know what her I name is, her but, name either. but obviously she is a marquee uh, artist, and they was pitching to her, and Becca was like, you gonna, it's like you're going to be our only artist. She was like... Well, I am your only artist, right? She said, well, you'll be my first artist. Oh, you'll be my first artist. She was, like, like, she was like, you know what? I'll just cut to the chase. I'm not going to sign on with y'all. <laughs> y'all are too small. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to do, do you a solid. I'm going to tell TMI that we had, you can tell TMI that we had this conversation. That should do something for y'all. And by the way, who did your decor? Uh, go on, send them my way. <laughs> I said, that's shady as hell. <laughs> so Giselle told Becky was like, our only artist, you must was high when you came up with that line. She said, well, I, I kinda. I kinda. <laughs> so we got old Mr. Andre is running the company. My uh, crazy Andre. Which I think he just pretty much made himself that role. I still think he's the interim CEO at the point. Yes, yeah, he, but. He done made it like he, he, he done dead and left the company to me. Yeah, I'm good. So he gets a visitor, Mr. Miles. That's, that's the name of my supervisor at work. Manager, supervisor, one of them. Your manager. Yeah, Miles. He done got out of jail. Decided to come over to Empire and pay y'all Jamal a visit. Mm -hmm. Now, he do the typical black thing. You see, you can't, you can't help us. When you do a solid for somebody... Jamal owes that boy a solid, though. Yeah, yeah, but... But, but, but you can't just roll up and think yeah, that it's red for you. Exactly, that's what I'm talking about. We... we yeah, he do owe him, but he was like, you know, I need you to give me a job. Like, baby boy, I need you to find me a job. <laughs> so, he was like, yeah, I owe you. So, um, give me a few days. You know, I need to talk to HR. Da, da, da. He was like, nah, you're supposed to be the big man. Because he was like, you know, I, I want to get a job. But I got a corner office with you a window. A suit? I want to wear a suit. I was like, bruh. Do uh, you even own a suit? Yeah. Uh, you should... Be happy that he can just get you a job and there's somewhere doing like, something. Get to a mail room uh, or something. Yeah, mail room, janitor, or something like that. But that's how we do. It's like, okay, mm -hmm. you owe me a solid, and this is how I want you to do it. So, Sometimes we you see, gotta be specific, though. Yeah, so we see later in the episode that he kept coming back, you know, he got my job. And Andre's like, I'm gonna be straight with you. We ain't got nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I'll get with you when we got something. 
So I guess Miles couldn't hang with that. He was like, no. Oh, I knew he was gonna be a problem. Yeah, he was gonna be a problem. So y'all remember when they were, uh, what they was doing? Uh, when he showed up at that house? No, nah, he showed up at the concert. Yeah. Yeah, he showed up at the concert and he was in the audience. And I said, oh, you know what? He get ready to do something. So I actually thought that after um, Hot Kingdom finished performing, I thought he was gonna get Trump on stage, stage. Me too. and expose Andre and be like, hey, Andre who ain't the ninja that he said he is. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what he did in prison. This is what he did in prison. He got me to kill somebody for him. And so that's he can, your CEO. Yeah, and that's your CEO. But nah, that ain't what he did. Pretty much once Andre got in the parking lot, he rode up on him and was like, you know what? I'm fitting to slice you up. So he still had the prison mindset because he had that prison knife. <laughs> uh-huh. So I was like, Miles, uh, I understand you got that knife, but Andre can fight. Yeah, and I said, it just takes one thing to click, and yep. he's activated. Yep. And that he did. Because he the, he the new original gangster, too. So uh, he go to swinging at Andre, and he did, he made one fatal mistake. He was like, I'm going to slice you, or I'm going to slice your wife, Terry. And why did he say that for? Andre knocked the skit out of him. <laughs> they got to fight, and Andre got to choke him. I said, Andre going to kill that boy. Yep. And that's exactly what he did. Straight up. Straight up killed him. I was like, mm, ain't what you want. So now he got to cover that up. <laughs> so now they got another problem. I said, episode one. Yeah. And we got a dead body on our hands. Already. 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 But I don't know if you're going to get to this part. But y'all, Crackhead Terry. I mean, Crackhead. Oh, um, yeah. I was going there, Nick. What's the name? Got on White Tracy. White Tracy. White Tracy. We got to deal with right, White Tracy, y'all. Because yeah. that dad gonna cook it. <laughs> Don't exchange us. Um, she gave the boy hot so that Andre could live in exchange for shares in the company. So I'm trying to figure out how many shares does she get and what's what's her control in the company? Is it is it ten percent? It's got to be at least fifty percent for her to walk up in that guy doing um that boardroom like that. Yeah. So. So Andre, when he, uh, yeah, but sure, Andre was pissed off. He was like, why in the heck did you give White Tracy shares of the company? <laughs> she she gave like, it in blind side to me, talking about she, she would have been in the meetings and make some decisions. <laughs> and she was like, well, boy, I'm trying to save your life. Yep. So basically, you wouldn't be here standing here in my face if I didn't do that. So which one would you rather have? But I'm concerned about Andre because... We started off with him doing like this. Yeah, he's scratching that dead incision in his heart. And I was like, okay, is he healing? Because I could deal with the healing part. But he just seemed to always be... Yeah, still like... What's going on? Like his and heart even, working right? And even when he went to the doctor's appointment, <clears throat> where they supposed to have been sitting there talking to the doctor, making sure he was good. Yeah. That's when Lulu had showed up. So we didn't ever see no doctor. Yeah, so I... So Andre, sit, sit, fax me your skit so I can know you all right. But White Tracy was on this weird boo skit. Was like, my son, can I hear my son? Can, can I hear my it's son? It's not necessarily weird because I've, yeah. I've seen and I've heard that before. Like if you give up your, your loved one's organs to someone and you meet who that is who received it. I, I understand what you're saying, but you just can't walk right in the room <laughs> and demand that you hear your son's heart without having an official conversation with God daughter, uh, uh Andre. Andre. But has, isn't it convenient that Andre had a heart tattoo in the middle of his goddamn chest? Yeah. And then that seizure went right down and like it was a broken heart. I said, that was so convenient, wasn't it? <laughs> Perfectly placed, huh? <laughs> Lulu told him to do that. Yeah. So, back at uh, Lulu and his new girlfriend, he went back sneaking in and was saying, you know what? This is all good and everything. I love you. You know, we're going to have some good sex. But I got to run. I'm, I'm a one infusion. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm a one infusion, and, and I'm and, and you don't know who I am. She was like, I know who you are. You Lucy's line. I knew that when you started talking about music. I'm like, everybody know who you is, Lucy. Okay. Yeah. So she was like, No, you ain't got no go to wear. Cause he was like, I got to go. No, you got to do it. I got to go. I need money, and you ain't got no money. I got to be able to be out here so I can get some money. <laughs> I said, Lulu setting it up. Yeah. Set it up real good. I yeah, he set it up. Yep. So she was like, you ain't got to go nowhere. I got money. He was like, you ain't got no money like that. She was like, but my daddy so, got money. All I got to do is get him a cow and whatever I need, he'll send it to me on the spot. So, okay. I said, huh, lucky you. Yeah. 
I wish I had a connection like that to Hello? be able to make a phone call and get whatever I want. She's like, my daddy is rich. So we seen later in the episode that she gave him a call. And just like she said, he was like, baby girl, what's going on? What you need? You good? Um, just give Ray a call, tell him what you want. He'll send her right on over to you. And just like that, made it happen. And she was like, you need to meet my daddy one day because he is something else. He said, I bet he is. But we know who the daddy is. Damon Cross. You're going to have to come to me. Me. <laughs> Hands. And I believe that Lucius know exactly he know. that that's, her, that's uh, his daughter. So that's his comeback because Cookie, you know, slapped him with that at the end of last season. That she slept with Damon Cross. So I guess this is his way of, you know, retaliating. But now mm -hmm. he know that he uh, he said, Cookie, you didn't sleep with him. Mm -hmm. I know you didn't. <laughs> and she was like, well, okay. So... That that's that tip for Tat, and I said yep. they're gonna be right back together. Get look when Lucius gets some more money, and he finds his way back to Cookie. You gonna be like, who who Lotus Flower who? <laughs> She'll hey, be you, a thing of the past. Do you think they gonna get back together for this episode or this season or Yes, because they always end up back together. And it's a good closer. Yeah, that would be a good closer. Yeah. But at the end of the episode, this what really broke my heart because Terry was had called Andre when he was uh, freaking killing Miles. Yeah. And she was like, you know, I was trying to wait up for you, but I can't, you know. And we see her was like, oh. And I was like, is she going into labor? And I was like, she's a nurse, so she knows yeah. she had to call somebody. And I yeah. said, no, this is serious. And like, she, she can't even get to the phone. Yeah. And she hit the flow. I said, oh, no, no. And all we seen was blood pouring out. And I was like, no. Andre cannot afford he, no. another death. And no. y'all gonna stop playing with no. Andre. Andre <laughs> is the person that always get the skitty end of the stick. Yeah. God doing boo boo kitty killed his wife and his child. Yep. The wife ain't never had no fume. No. Nope. We ain't bring no big check sodas. <laughs> we ain't go buy Publix and get no fried chicken. Big mama didn't make no macaron cheese. Yo aunt ain't make no macaron cheese. No potato salad. Yo aunt ain't make no macaron cheese. Nope. Uh, um, Bertha ain't make no greens. Ain't nobody go around there to Sam Club get no sheet cake. <laughs> you know we gotta have all of that skip when we when somebody die and we ain't get the experience. Yeah, none, none of, of that. that. Yeah. Just cause she was white don't mean that we don't want a repass. Y'all owe her. Y'all owe yeah. us. And Andre already bad enough that he don't believe in the Lord no more. Nope. So he really, he might, he might have been on the fence, but you know what? He ain't on the ground. He found out that his wife, if she, if, if she turned up dead. And the bad uh, thing about it, like, if there was a choice that had to be made between her life or this baby life, who y'all think it should be? Because it's so, I really believe they gonna buck with Andre mm -hmm. and both of them not gonna die. I think one of them gonna die. Which one would y'all rather for it to be? I don't know. At this I don't point, know, man. I think That's I just, a hard decision. I think I think I need Andre to have a baby. Yeah, cause he been yeah he been wanting one. So yeah, so I don't I don't know. But Terry, you need to get up off the flow, sugar foot. Yeah, yeah. I hope somebody come running in there. Um, what's her name? The the maid. I can't think of her name. Are they Juanita. Is, is Juanita still there? Yeah, Juanita's over there. At cookies, but is Andre them at cookies? I don't think so. I don't know where they at. Their house is so freaking dark, you can't yeah. tell. Yeah. I said when Jamal they left. Had, they had a funeral home. Yeah, when Jamal <laughs> left, did he take the money too for the lights? Because everything ran it out. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know what the hell's going on right here. Yeah. So they kind of, you know, pretty much, like, like I said, it's, it's, it was a, a all right episode. Yeah. Uh, you know, decent for a setup. Uh, but they kind of playing mind games on us, you know, beginning of eight, the yeah, episode was nine months from now. And then at the end, it was like nine months later. And y'all know we hate that. And we seeing that uh, Lucius got shot by somebody. So I guess they trying to tell us that Lucius going to die, but I, I don't believe it. Cause, and why uh, would you show me that now? I'm yeah, so that's why I know they throwing us off. So I, I, I believe Lucius is dreaming. That he got shot probably by Damon Cross or maybe even Cookie. That would be a spin. Damon might kill him. That might be a spin. The Cookie ended up shooting him. That that now that would be a spin. Oh, and Cookie went over there to meet old Damon Cross. She said, "You owe me, man." Yeah, you owe me. I said, and he was looking like I do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you do. She's gonna come back to you. Yeah, come back to me. All right. But yeah, that was the episode, y'all. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla.